Uh, these people, these religious ass people, these freaking Christians been out here all freaking day playing their music and freaking talking all extra loud on mic and all of this and they have no understanding. They need to get the hell out of my neighborhood, bruh. They need to go somewhere. I'm tired of them. These freaking Gentiles. Now, anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and read from the sealed portion, chapter 88. Okay? As I was prompted today, um, and reminded... I think I've, I might have brought this out already, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it out again, okay? Just in case I hadn't, and even if I had, let's just go ahead and get it, okay? Chapter 88 uh, of the sealed portion. Humankind causes the most high's judgments that will precede the second coming of the Messiah to the earth, according to the book of revealing, revelation, okay? According to the book of revelation, which is the revealing, okay? Those who want to know can find the exact year of the coming of Yahusha by studying the scriptures, okay? And now... The Messiah shall come in the year after the end of the half of times, as I have explained it unto you. And before he cometh into the world, all the prophecies that are written in a book of revelation, the revealing, that came forth unto you from the mouth of a holy prophet of the Most High, must needs be fulfilled. Okay? So everything written in Revelation, the revealing, all of those prophecies that are written in that book that came forth to us from the mouth of the Holy Prophet of the Most High, John, okay, it's all going to be fulfilled before the Messiah comes, okay? And most of these prophecies I have explained unto you. And I have also explained unto you that there shall be many great and miraculous advancements. Okay, hold on. And most of these prophecies, and most of these prophecies, I have explained unto you. And I have also explained unto you that there shall be many great and miraculous advancements upon the earth in science and technology. But these great advancements shall not save the world from the judgments of the Most High that shall precede, that shall precede the second coming of Yahusha HaMashiach to the earth, the Messiah. Okay, Jesus the Christ, whatever you want to call him, okay? For these great advancements, for these great advancements, as you suppose, shall be the cause of many of the destructions that shall come upon you in the latter days, in fulfillment of the prophecy of John. Behold, in the beginning, the Father created the earth according to the principles and laws of nature, which are eternal. Now, these laws are powerful and effectually maintain an order in nature that shall work forever. But in your desires to follow the plan of Lucifer and bring about the great and miraculous advancements in science and technology that ye of the latter days suppose bring unto you your happiness, ye shall disrupt the course of the laws of nature and cause that its eternal order becometh imbalanced. And now, because of this imbalance in the natural laws that the Father has set for this planet, which is not a planet, is a plane, okay, a stationary 
plane, okay, the physical realm, all right, ye shall begin to see the effects of the plan of Lucifer in using these laws for the purposes of his plan, which is a plan of selfishness, is a plan of selfishness, okay, and I see it all over the place, people are freaking selfish, bruh, selfish is completely and utterly selfish okay the other day um i don't know if i recorded this or not because I, I recorded a lot in a short amount of time but the father this came across um my spirit like what well, it came in my spirit um realization in in clarity on what people call saving what people call saving in today's day and age, and they put such emphasis on saving, and I know firsthand as my family has taught down to me and put me down because I've never been in a position to be able to save, okay, to save money, okay, um, that's what they call it today, saving. Okay, even your uh, they have accounts, a savings account. Okay, saving that's what they refer to it as, but it's in fact hoarding. Okay, we got worldwide, worldwide, there are people impoverished. Okay, and you get all of these people saving, really, bro? That don't make sense to me. Okay, now back when I didn't have any understanding. And when I didn't have any articulation, as my family talked down to me about saving, all I could say was, what am I supposed to save? I don't have anything left over to save because everything has been taken from me. As I work these slave jobs and all of my necessities are taken care of, but it took all of my... It, it took my whole check in order to pay for all my necessities, okay? And I barely had anything left over for my wants, okay? For, for, for you know, my herb and my tobacco and my internet. That's pretty much all I had, all I could afford after I paid all of my necessities, okay? So I didn't have anything left over to save. It was literally impossible for me to save. But yet, I was demonized for not saving. Okay, now I didn't mean to go off on that rant, but I just want you to understand that I know firsthand about this whole saving thing, okay? And this savings account and all of this, you know, they they put it up there on the pedestal of like, you know, uh, responsibility and, you know, they, they put these labels on it, you know, like, you know, this is what a responsible adult would do. They would save money, you know, so that they don't have to depend on nobody. But aren't we supposed to depend on the most high our power? Aren't we supposed to seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and know that he will provide for us? When do we, when do we turn our backs on that and, and, and wholeheartedly put our trust in this satanic beast system to take care of ourselves? Bruh, the father has explained all of this to me, okay? And now I have validation to back up who I have always been, all right? Now, it's not saving, people. If you got a bank account with thousands of dollars, that's wicked, okay? I'm going to tell you right now that that's wicked. And you're hoarding, okay? You're hoarding from those that are in need around you. Because I can pretty much guarantee those that got thousands of dollars in the bank, there's people you know in your life, there's people around you that you know are destitute and in need of substance, and you have abundance, but you have chosen to hoard onto that abundance, and you call it saving. That's wicked, and you're gonna you're gonna be held accountable for that. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and continue. All right. And now, this is verse 6. 
And now, because of this imbalance in the natural laws that the Father has set for this earth, he shall begin to see the effects of the plan of Lucifer in using these laws for the purposes of his plan, which is a plan of selfishness. And the causes of these unnatural imbalances in the perfect order of nature that the Father has established in the beginning shall be the means and the cause of the fulfillment of the words of John in the book of revealing revelation that ye have among you in the Bible. Oh, this makes it so very plain and crystal clear, doesn't it? Oh, it makes it so plain and crystal clear, doesn't it? Verse 8. Behold, these prophecies are written in symbolism according to the stumbling blocks that the Most High has placed before you. Okay, I, I'm not going to read this exactly how it is, okay? Because the, the Messiah didn't place no stumbling blocks before us, all right? Um... Behold, these prophecies are written in symbolism according to the stumbling blocks that are placed before you because of your inability to live according to the spirit of the Most High. So Yahushua allowed these stumbling blocks, okay? He didn't place them, but he allowed them because of your inability to live according to the spirit of the Most High, which would make all things clear unto you. Therefore, do not suppose that the Father will cause any of these things to come upon you. For he does not punish his children in this manner, but he alloweth them to punish themselves by the choices that they make for themselves, according to their ability to act for themselves. You got free agency, okay? And in your free agency, you can freely choose your sin. You can freely choose what you do upon this earth, but you cannot choose your judgment, okay? And your judgment is going to be directly tied to how you lived your life, okay? You are going to reap every single thing that you have sown, all right? Verse 9, now, this is what is always meant by the wrath of the Most High. Behold. Do you think that the father becometh angry with his children and is wont to hurt them in any manner? I say unto you that he does not become angry with them, but in great sadness he witnesses the destruction and misery that they bring upon themselves. But when the prophets write concerning the destruction of the things to come, they relate the inaction of the Father in interceding to prevent these destructions and miseries as the wrath of the Most High. And it is written, saying, and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men, which had the mark of the beast, and upon them who worshipped his image. <clears throat> now what is the mark of the beast? That is your money, okay? Your money is the mark of the beast, okay? And you worship his image by... Spending all your time, energy, and effort into accumulating your money in which you hoard and you call it saving. Verse 13. And now, this noisome and grievous sore is the many diseases that ye have amongst you in the latter days. And these are the cause of the effects of the poor and unnatural foods that ye shall consume in that day. The children shall eat their defiled bread in the land of their captivity. 
We're eating the foul bread as they genetically modify everything. As they pollute everything. Okay? And I have already related to you in this record the effects of cooked food, which cooking with heat kills the natural process by which these foods are assimilated by the order of the flesh. And because ye eat food and flesh that is cooked, ye have caused an imbalance in your flesh which is the cause of many of your diseases in the latter days and i would that ye should look into nature and to the other animals with which ye share the earth that the father hath created for us where he has given unto us this delicate balance of nature yeah do any of these causes that their food pass through the fire to destroy the purpose for which their food has been created for them? Name one animal that cooks their food, bruh. And I'm, I'm speaking to myself as well because I cook my food, okay? I don't eat flesh and blood. But I cook my food because it's what I've come accustomed to. I've become accustomed to cooking my food. And to this day, I still crave cooked food, okay? I crave, you know, making a homemade pizza. I crave making homemade, you know, tacos, vegan tacos, okay? I crave cooking my food, all right? So I'm still speaking to myself. Ye know that they do not do these things. None of the animals cook their food. For they do not have the agency to perform these tasks, having been instinctually programmed by the Father in the beginning to obey in all things the laws of nature. Okay? So the animals are following the laws of nature. Okay? And do these other animals in nature have the noisome and grievous sores upon them as ye have? Or in other words, do they have the diseases of the flesh that cause these unnatural and unhealthy sores that cause your sufferings and your deaths? Behold, they do not. Now, before any of you naysayers get on this video and say, no, there's all kinds of animals with sores. Yeah, the ones in the slaughterhouses being mistreated, crowding in there, overcrowding. They're not even able to sleep. Oh, yeah, they're being mistreated, bruh. They're in turmoil, okay? So, yes, of course, they have grievous sores upon them. But the ones in the wild don't. Verse 18. Behold, even the food that you eat that has not passed through the heat of a fire and been destroyed, even these things have been contaminated by the unnatural attempts of men to get gain by providing these things unto you in abundance. Is this not what they're doing with genetic modification, GMO? They're trying to produce more with less, okay? Killing off the honeybees. They're doing all kinds of wickedness, bruh. For in those days, men shall obtain the knowledge of chemistry, as it shall be known among you, which shall aid them in their ability to use the natural elements which exist upon the earth to create concoctions and potions that shall kill the insects and other animals and the other animals that the Father has placed in their own order to maintain a perfect balance of nature in all things things and instead of working by the sweat of your brow to pull out the weeds that rise up in the crops that ye grow for yourselves ye shall use these unnatural products of your chemistry to kill the weeds that grow among the plants that you do eat as your food bruh 
Oh my gosh. To all you naysayers that want to throw out the sealed portion in its entirety, can you not see these words playing out before your eyes in the world, in the life that you are living? Tell me that you don't see the truthfulness in our day-to-day -day life. And do you not realize that when these things are done unto nature, then its perfect balance is disrupted and the consequences of this disruption is the cause of the sores that shall come upon you? And ye shall die of all manner of effects from your poor diets, having been provided these diets by the beast that you worship. And the prophecy of John continued with saying, And the second angel poured out his vow upon the sea. And it became as the blood of a dead man, which is black in color and heavy in its consistency. And every living soul died in the sea. And now, in the latter days, ye shall begin to use the resources of the earth to fulfill the plan of Lucifer. And he shall inspire you to seek out these resources of the earth that lie beneath its surface. And this shall be known among you as oil. But it shall not be the pure natural oils that are produced from the plants that the Father has provided for our consumption. But this oil shall be black and heavy as the blood of a dead man, as John has related to us. And this oil, hold on, I dropped my bottle top and I don't want Tiger freaking, I don't want Tiger getting it, I don't want him swallowing it or something. All right. Hold on a second. Also, I want to get me some more water. Oh, man, bro. This was not planned, okay? This audio was not planned at all. But as I was reading this chapter again, um... I was basically prompted to just go ahead and record it, okay? Because it's relevant for the times that we're living in. Oh, um. <clears throat> All right. Give me a second, people. One second, okay? Bear with me. And I, I don't know how long this chapter is to see how long this is, because, bruh. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to read this whole whole chapter, people. I don't know if I'm going to read all of this in one setting, okay? I'm just saying. Because, um, man, that would be such a long video, bruh. It would be such a long audio. And, um... I guess I could cut it up, you know, like I normally do, but... Bruh, I already have stuff that I'm still... I already have audios that are, that's waiting to be made into videos, okay? So, it's like, bruh, <laughs> I, keep, I keep having more and more and more on my plate, alright? I can never get done with what I already have before there's more, okay? <clears throat> Maybe one of these days I'll start doing lives because that that way it will save me time, you know, but then again the father Like I haven't had it on my spirit to do lives. Okay, because It's like the way the father wants me to do it is to create the videos. Okay. Um, I don't know 
if he maybe lives will come later I don't know but as for right now I don't feel the leading to do lives so <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't feel the leading to do lives. Not yet, anyway. Plus, I probably need a better computer in order to do lives, bro. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know how my computer would act trying to do a live. I have a lot of issues with this PC. Mm -hmm. 